Now, I'm pretty sure it's not edible, but this is a really pretty fungus. Good morning and welcome back to Grace Junction Homestead. We are Royce and April. <laughs> it's about 6.30 in the morning. We have not had enough coffee, so bear with us. <laughs> We're uh, While it's cool out. Yes, because it is so hot right now. Um, we're going shopping for breakfast in the woods. Whatever we can find that's edible is what's for breakfast. <laughs> Here we go. These are not real big, so they get a lot bigger yeah, than this. Pretty small. Yep, but when you cut them, just take and cut them off at ground level. Leave that little stump in the ground. But if you look at the bottom side of these, you see how the gills come right down the stem? Mm -hmm. Like a flower, really. Yeah. Kind of like a trumpet flower. You see, that's a golden chanderelle. I just spied a little more here, but it's so tiny that we're going to just leave we're it. We're going to leave those guys grow. And then right next to it here is some more coral mushroom that was just barely showing under the leaf. I was like, what's that? But, uh, that's a better picture of it, I think. Right there, that's a coral mushroom. And it's real small, so we're gonna leave it too, I think, right? Yep. Her just came out and joined us, and she found a big one. You wanna give her the scissors so she can harvest that puppy? That's a big one. We'll Good job, kid. Look how big that is. Good eye, kid. Oh, it's two. Is it? All right, well, snip them off. Good job. That's nice and big. Yep. All right, put it in the basket. And there's another one right over there. Oh, there's another one right there and another one right there. Oh, good yep. job. Yeah, wherever you find one, there's going to be more, usually. That's where some animals walk through and done their business along the trail. Now Mia's strategy is purely to follow the poop. <laughs> she looks around on the ground for poop and then she will follow it. So I just found this little guy and at a glance he looked quite a bit like a chanterelle. Um, <laughs> yeah at a glance I, I don't have the greatest eyesight. Um, now that I look it over I'm like that's not what that is. But uh, the way I identified it for sure was I flipped it over and looked at the underneath and it is very different than the chanterelle. Very, very different. Oh, look at this one. That's what you want. You don't want that. Very, very different. Well, now you gotta look around because where there's one, there should be more. I don't want to hurt the moss. Where is oh, there yeah, more? There now I just gotta follow the line. Well, go that way. Something out of then right there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're just unburying a bunch right there, huh? And sometimes when we find the little ones, we'll just leave them to let them grow bigger. Um, but if we know we're not going to be back out here for a minute, then we'll go ahead and just harvest the little ones too. This one is not edible, but it is really pretty. So, yeah, we're not 100% sure. all mushrooms are edible. Sometimes just the ones, I know. So uh, I would not recommend eating this though. It might be a one-timer. <laughs> it is really pretty though. You get to see a lot of really cool stuff out in the woods. Just gotta take the time to get out here and look. Oh, we just found a bunch. Royce did, I should give him the credit. His eyes saw it, not mine. Oh, we were just heading back too and I was thinking, well, we didn't do too bad. I was quietly wishing we'd found some more, but now we did. Gonna have some good eggs this morning. Oh, that one's a little small. 
All right. See, you leave all the stems in the ground like that. Mm-hmm. And it leaves the spores and... Yep. And then I usually the kind of try to throw a few leaves back over top of it. Keep them moist. Yep. All right. So we were out a little longer than we expected. I think we did pretty good. Better than usual, anyway. <laughs> um, we got quite a few mushrooms. We picked some wild blackberries. We're going to scramble these up with some eggs here in a little bit. Because we also found some wild chicken eggs. <laughs> and we call them wild chicken eggs because our chickens are completely free range. So they lay everywhere but where they think we can find them. <laughs> okay, so we fried up about half. We chopped them up and sauteed them and threw in some eggs. And you can see just a little bit of goat cheese there. <laughs> good stuff we'll probably put a little salsa on there and it is yummy so good with fried eggs I think or scrambled eggs is the best way we've tried them so far are there other ways that you like them 